Welcome back, it's Canadian Bacon, and here we are, we're at the Dirt Rally. Uh, I thought I'd uh, take a little time away from project cars. Not too much time though, not too much time. I do like my project cars, like making those videos. Uh, but I wanted to get back into this discipline, uh, being on the dirt, and here we are. We're bringing back the Subaru Impreza, the 2001 WRX series, and uh, we're in Finland. We're in Finland on an overcast day. Um, now, as you'll see in this video, um, yeah, I've been away from it for a little while, for about probably a little over two weeks, I think, since I put in a good run, and um, that's really too long, to be honest, in my humble opinion. It's just too damn long to be away from a particular discipline. I got to actually discipline myself to go back and forth from, you know, street racing when you're on tarmac. Uh, to uh, getting into the rally versions where because the physics are two totally different styles of racing two totally t uh, uh, physics that are involved and the way the car handles and you know one's going over jumps and bumps and dirt and mud and rain and all that kind of stuff maybe even we might even get into some winter icy stuff I don't know maybe we'll see about Monte Carlo it's not my uh, forte by any means. Uh, but anyway, uh, as, you, as you can think, you know, think about uh, trying to jumble back and forth, it'd be like taking, uh, you know, um, a GP3 driver and putting them, you know, smack dab into a rally car. Um, it's going to take some time to get back into it. So you'll see some mistakes. This is not a perfect run by any means, just, you know, and that's fine. You'll see me in the raw here, and I don't mind that. I like seeing, you know, you can see the imperfections, and hopefully you guys can uh, maybe throw some input uh, as to help me with my setup. Now, what I did was in this one, I ended up uh, moving, uh, because there is a bit of moisture on there, I normally run about a 59-61 split. Um, now I bought, I had to move that down, put a little bit more power transfer to the front, ran a 57, uh, 57, 63 split. So, um, no. So am I putting more power to the rear? <laughs> I'm confused. I'm confused. I, I never had to worry about that with the other one. Uh, uh, where my power transfer, power splits, transfers, and torques, and all this other stuff, you know, it's a, uh, it's a lot more. In some ways, it's, it's a, uh, uh, you don't have to worry about tire pressures and worry about tire heat and all that kind of stuff in, in the dirt, as you do in project cars. But project cars, you don't have to worry about torque transfer and, you know, uh, worry about your dampers. I mean, you do have to worry about dampers. Uh, but not in the sense of this huge travel that we have. Uh, we've got the big jumps in this one, and uh, it's a really fast course, and it can really put you out into a tree just like that. I mean, without a blink of an eye, you really got to be paying attention. The wheel work is amazing on this. You really got to work the wheel back and forth. It's just like just what you see in, in the real life. So it's kind of neat um, uh, going from tarmac to this. Um, so listen, let's go. I've been talking too much here. Let's watch this. And we're off out of the gates. Past junction, 100 over bridge. As I said, you're going to see some smart. errors in here, and uh, that's fine. It's not meant to be perfect. Um, it would have been nice to get a nice perfect run, but um, here we are. Look at this. I'm all over the place. I'm trying to control this thing. My wheel is going like crazy. I love this turn though. It's probably one of my favorite turns. It's a really hard one to get down, but once you get it down, it feels beautiful coming around there once you get it right. Look at the suspension travel on this. They, Codemaster did it a fantastic job in showing us the physics here and how everything works. My hat's off to them. One thing you really have to watch is the, uh, in, in when I am on the tarmac and I'm on project cars, you hear me say about the curb monsters. Uh, here we'll talk about the ditch monsters. And the ditch monsters really want to suck you in. And once they suck you in, they, they don't want to let you go. So it's something you're really going to have to be careful of here. Look at the air. Oh, 
Oh, I missed the missed missed the pedestrians. The, the crowd. Now you look in the real life. They get out of the way. I don't know why they just stand there like that. It's like they want to get hit or something. I don't know. Code masters, they should be moving the crowd away when you get close. There should be that situational awareness that could be the AI. And uh, as you can see there, I just I didn't I didn't uh, quite judge that correctly. Right, five long past junction times three don't. You do get some wild air in this, and I love the jumps, and it's quite a feeling you you get. Uh, just really gets the heart going. Four continues over crest, opens. Ooh, and dig in, dig in, I'm saying dig in, dig in. I mean, air, air oh, here we go. Oh, I spun around, look at that. I mean, the air, all the air looks nice. Don't get me wrong. That looks, look at that. That looks amazing. It does. It's beautiful. It's sexy. However, it's slow. The, middle over press jump on 80 past jump. <laughs> the more time you spend in the air, the less traction you have, less speed you have. Now, some jumps, it's just inevitable. You're going to jump. There we go. Into the, into the uh, ditch monster. Suck me in there. I'm saying, dig in, dig in, dig in. I'm <laughs> just trying to find grip. I, I wanted to grip in and dig and try and push me along, but I'm just having a hard time. Look at that more air. Thing straight has been a struggle for me on the look at the air. I love that though. It's quite a feeling I have to say. Forty. Left I just six, have to say code masters. Those signs. 60. What are they made of? Like six titans, three tights. Titanium? And are they are they tethered in by like an iceberg or something underneath with concrete because when you hit them they should just crumble but they don't <laughs> they're like super tight maybe. oh look at them back and forth and we're across the line well listen thanks for watching and uh listen if you guys want uh, to know anything about my setups feel free to ask in the comment section and as always uh listen you like the video Take that second and slap that like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, guess what? There's a share button. And if you want to share it with your friends, uh, actually, that's the share button. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Getting it all mixed up. It's late at night. I'm trying to put this video, <laughs> I'm trying to put this video up. Oh, I'm so tired. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. And uh, I'm going to be putting out some more uh, dirt videos this weekend and hopefully back to some project cars. We're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, and I'm hoping to get back on my PC and do some set of Corsa, which, by the way, we're still working on this PC to try to get it optimized so we can broadcast from there and we can get into the race room set of Corsa spin tires and and a number of other different uh, sims anyway guys take care adios amigos and uh, thanks for watching cheers